The learner, when they join the session, will be introduced to the topic. They will have target vocabulary that they will go through. And then they're introduced to the first activity, which is a baseline. We introduce the target vocabulary, and then we want to see their existing knowledge on these terms. This is how we're going to measure learning in this session. We're going to see the difference, the learning game between the baseline and the summative assessment at the end. They will both be this format, and we will have different questions for the same vocabulary. So you can see it's responsive. They can say it's too difficult. And then we get into the activities, and the activities are varied. This one is discussion. We use prompts here for different phones. So every learner will have a different prompt depending on their role in the activity. In addition to prompts, we sometimes also provide uh, starters, uh, suggested texts to assist students and learners that might have difficulty coming up with what to say at, on the spot. In addition to activities, we also include evaluations. Uh, as you can see here, peer evaluation is a big, a big part of WASTA. So learners will, will learn to review others and give uh, recognition as well. If you can see at the bottom here, we're able to look at another user in this, in this uh, example, chatty links. So we're going to evaluate their speaking with similar factors that you might find on an English proficiency test exam, vocabulary, pronunciation, fluency, and relevancy. So we're going to evaluate this user, and this will be recorded anon anonymously and reported at the end anonymously. We, in between activities, we have a progress map that shows their status uh, in the session, how far they've progressed, um, and introduces the next topic. For this example, we have jigsaw reading. This is where each user has text to read that is different from each of the other user's text. Then we're going to have questions based on the text that the users read, and the users must work together to answer the questions where each has different information. And this is the, the trivia, the, the multiple uh, choice uh, component that you will see in Jigsaw Reading, but we also have another activity called Trivia, which offers uh, interesting facts uh, or questions based on interesting facts. You can see we, we give uh, feedback if they got it correct. We also, if they get it incorrect, we also let them know that as well. Another activity we have is the writer's room. So we allow them also to practice the, the skill of writing. So here they can, they're given a prompt um, to write on AI and healthcare. This is uh, what we see here and we can have the vocabulary that we wanna focus on and use. Once the student has inputted their, their text, they can say finished writing and then other learners are going to review their writing and read it out. And then they will also give an evaluation. So again, peer evaluations are a big part. Uh, we have some games. Bingo is based on another user reading text that has these uh, bingo um, vocabulary terms. And the other users must listen and input. When they have heard three in the appropriate sequence or order, they will be able to, to have a bingo. And the other user must review and make sure that it is bingo and confirm. At the end of WASTA sessions, we have something called group processing. Group processing is important for small groups to review their learning and consider and reflect on ways to improve it. So we have discussions as in the previous screen, but we all, what we have here is an ability now for, for them to determine what activities did they like in the session and what activities did they not like. Once they determine that, we will look at the, what they liked and see what is their favorite of that list of liked activities. This information will be good and valuable where we can know perhaps ways to improve the learner experience. 
At the end is the assessment to determine the learning. So we want to see what vocabulary terms did the learner uh, get incorrect in the beginning and get correct now. And we are going to then report that in the summary. So the summary is the last screen. It, it identifies who you learned with, uh, some session details, and then it talks about the vocabulary words. Um, so you learn these words, you struggled with these words, or some feedback, and then we talk about achievements. So achievements here will give you the recognition that you received from your peers. Um, if you won any kind of games or contests, here we have a caption contest activity. And then at the bottom, we have evaluations based on the session. Now, for this example, I ran through quickly, so that's why they're all showing 50, but these would vary based on the, your peer evaluation, and it would be a, uh, an average of those evaluations. I didn't show you all the activities, so this, so this demo would not be extremely long. We have what you see here, uh, speech, discussion. We have a summary activity, brainstorm, quiz, which we're going to rename as trivia, group processing. We have the reporting in the end. Uh, we have bingo. We have a selector that's actually within some activities that randomly chooses users. Two truths and a lie, a caption contest, jigsaw reading, listen up, writer's room, and fill in the blank. If you would like, you're more than welcome to go to wasta.fun and test this yourself. When you go to wasta.fun on your, on your phone or your desktop, you'll be given a screen similar to this. What you should do is go to the top and click sign in. You will need to have an account to create your own sessions. So go to create an account. And then once you have done that, you will see that your name is at the top, whatever name you put, and then you can create a session and explore WASTA. Thank you for your time.